Hello friends, welcome to Bankers Platform. Today we will discuss the memory recall questions of bank promotion exams. So friends, please like this video, share this video with your friends who are preparing for bank promotion exam and subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed. So let's start friends with our video. So friends, before starting, please write one to 20 counting on your notebook and give the answers of the questions yourself and check your preparation level and share your score in the comment section. So please also make notes of these important memory recall questions for your future reference. So let's start with our first question. The first question is under which section promissory notes are defined? So our options are under section four of NI Act, under section 10 of NI Act, under section 14 of NI Act, under section 20 of NI Act. So let's see friends, what is the correct answer? And the correct answer is A, that is under section four of NI Act. So promissory note. So promissory note is defined under section four of NI Act. And NI Act is friends, very important topic. And many questions are asked from NI Act. So you should go through all the sections of NI Act. And those sections are most important, which we are using in our day-to-day -day banking. So let's see our second question. Our section, second question is, what is the full form of Bhim? So our options are Bharat Internet for Money, Bank Instant for Money, Bharat Interface for Money, Bharat Instant for Money. So let's see what is the right answer. The right answer is C, that is Bharat Interface for Money. So this is the correct answer. Let's move to next question. Question number three. Penalty will be lived immediately on detection of mutilated notes in soil note remittances or currency chest balances irrespective of the number of pieces detected penalty of rupees dash for each irregularity penalty will be enhanced to rupees dash in each case of repetition so friends uh, this is related to currency chest if as per the question if any mutilated note is detected in the soil note. So what will be the penalty? And our options are, and the penalty will be first will be for each irregularity. And next is penalty will be enhanced to dash in case of repetition. If that same mistake is repeated, then how much penalty will be there? Let's see the options. Our options are 1000 and 2000, 2000 and 5000, 5000 and 8000, 5000 and 10,000. And let's see what is the right answer. And right answer is 5,000 and 10,000. If any panel, uh, if any mutilated note is found in the soil notes in remittance, then 5,000 rupees penalty will be there for each irregularity. And 10,000 will be the penalty if the same irregularity is repeated. So friends, nowadays many questions are asked from the currency chest related penalty and some other questions, how much notes we can get uh, exchanged and all that. So you should go through your study material and study about these currency chest related questions. And let's see next question, question number four. It is mandatory for the bank to reimburse the customer the amount wrongfully debited on account of failed ATM within ATM transaction within a maximum period of dash working days from the receipt of the complaint. So our options are two working days, five working days, seven working days, 10 working days. Let's see what is the correct answer. And the right answer is seven working days. Other friends, kisi ka bhi, if any person's amount is wrongfully debited in the ATM failed transaction, so bank has to reimburse that amount within seven working days. Let's see next question. Question number five. What is the minimum and maximum number of members in LLP? LLP is limited liability partnership. Our options are 2 and 20, 20 and 100, 2 and 100, 2 and no upper limit. So let's see what the right answer. And the right answer is D, that is 2. Minimum number of members in LLP is 2 and maximum there is no upper limit. Let's see next question, question number 6. For any failure to recredit the customer's account within 7 working days from the date of receipt of the complaint, the bank shall pay compensation of rupees dash per day to the aggrieved customer. So as 
in the previous question we have seen that within seven working days we have to recredit the amount in the customer's account so if that is not done by the bank so what is the compensation so our options are 50 rupees 100 rupees 200 rupees 500 rupees let's see what is the right answer and the right answer is 100 rupees per day so friends if uh, if the bank will not credit the failed transaction amount within seven working days then bank has to pay 100 rupees per day penalty or you can say compensation to the customer let's see next question question number seven a and b has an account with operating instruction former or survivor without nomination if both dies then to whom the fund will will handle as closer proceed means uh, will have given to the as a closer proceed so friends a or b a account hai just me operating instruction a former or survivor and in that case no nomination is there or agar dono ki death ho jati then kise hum jo hai proceed kise hum closer proceed denge our options are legal ias of a legal ias of b legal ias of a and b legal ias of either a or b let's see what is the right answer and the right answer is c that is legal ir of a and b to jo legal ir honge a or b ke unhe ye closer proceeds diye jayenge let's move to next question uh, so friends before moving to next question let's see some things related to this uh, cases there are various cases because friends many times these questions are asked in the promotion exam and this uh, question can give you one to two marks easily so what will happen to bank fixed deposit when the depositor dies before maturity with nomination so same case will be also with the saving account also okay so let's see the cases our first case is deposit in mr a's name okay a ke naam pe deposit hai if mr a dies before maturity x will receive the amount so here z is this is x here it will come x nominee okay so x will receive if mr a deposit in mr a's name agar a ke naam pe deposit hai aur uski death ho jati before maturity so who will get the money nominee will get the money our second case is deposit in mr a and b name as either or survivor to yahan pe jo hai a aur b ke naam pe hai as the either or survivor so ab is case mein kya hai first case hai if mr a dies before maturity if a dies agar a ki death ho jati hai then what will happen mr b will continue the deposit to mr b jo hai wo continue kar sakta hai deposit ko okay and if mr b dies before maturity okay same case deposit in the name of mr a and b as either survivor a or b ke naam pe hai aur b ki death ho jati hai in that case a will continue the deposit a jo hai wo deposit ko continue kar sakta hai and agar hum dusre way mein dekhe agar ye saving account hai in that case that other person can continue okay and next case is same deposit in mr a and b name as either survivor aur a aur b ke naam pe either survivor hai both dies if both mr a and b dies to tab kya hoga then Mr. X will receive Mr. This nominee. अगर दोनों की death होती है, then nominee will come in the picture. Okay, फिर ये nominee को हम proceeds देंगे. Otherwise, अगर A की death होती है, तो B continue कर सकता है. B की death होती है, तो A continue कर सकता है. या वो claim ले सकता है. And if both dies, then only nominee will come in the picture. Okay. Our next case is mis deposit in Mr. A and B name as joint. तो उनके joint के नाम पे है. If A dies before maturity, A की death हो जाती है, then what will happen? Payable, जो हमें closer proceeds हैं, वो pay करने हैं Mr. B को and legal ias of Mr. A jointly. तो जो A के जो legal ias Mr. B जो है joint holder, उसे भी payment होगी और legal ias of A. तो इस case में ये होगा. And next case is deposit in Mr. A and B name. If B dies, अगर B की death होती है, then payable to Mr. A and legal ias of mr b jointly and uh, our next case is deposit in mr a and b name as joint if both mr a and b dies agar dono ki death hoti hai then only x will receive the amount means nominee then only nominee will come in picture so this is a very important thing because many time questions are asked from here so please go through once again you can watch it and understand this this will be very helpful for you 
in the coming bank promotion exam so let let's move to next question friends question number 8 how many digits in mmid mmid is mo mobile money identifier तो मोबाइल मनी आइडेंटिफायर का जो कोड है उसके कितने डिजिट्स होते हैं अगर ऑप्शन आर फोर डिजिट्स सिक्स डिजिट्स सेवन डिजिट्स टेन डिजिट्स लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज सेवन डिजिट्स तो सात डिजिट्स जो हैं वो एम एम आई डी के होते हैं लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन द राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन अंडर द एक्ट मीन्स एक्सेसिबिलिटी टू द इंफॉर्मेशन हेल्ड under the control of any public authority and includes the right to which of does not match to yahan pe friends hame kuch rights diye hain under rti jo hum kar sakte hain so yahan pe aapko batana hai ki inme se jo hai kaun sa jo hai match nahi karta hai aur options are inspection of work document records taking notes extracts or certified copies of documents or records taking certified samples of the material obtaining information in the form of diskettes floppies tapes video cassettes or in any other electronic mode or through printouts whether such information is stored in a computer or in any other device and fifth is none of the above to so, yahan pe aapko batana friends which does not match and let's see what is the right answer right answer is fifth that's that is none of the above so this first second third fourth these all are the things we can ask under rti we can ask for inspection of the work how inspection bhi kar sakte hain under rti of the work document record and we can also take notes extract or certified copies of documents or records and taking certified samples of the material and we can also obtain information in the form of diskettes floppies tapes video cassette or in any other electronic mode or through printouts okay so in this way we can take the information so here the right answer will be fifth that is none of the above let's move to next question question number 10 trust deed is silent about loans by the trust the trustee approaches for a loan under these circumstances what should the bank do our options are no loan can be raised loan can be raised loan can be raised if main trustee of the trust allows loan can be raised if trustee have permission of the income tax so let's see what is the right answer and the right answer is no loan can be raised agar friends trust deed mein kuch bhi loan ke bare mein nahi likha gaya then we cannot give the loan to the trust so it should be mentioned in the trust deed about the uh, powers of the uh, members of the trustee that they can raise the loan so let's see next question question number 11 under article 14 of ucpdc 600 the reasonable time allowed to an lc opening bank to examine and to reject the document is so friends ucpdc guidelines you all know that we follow the ucpdc guidelines for uh, letter of credit for dealing with the documents so yahan pe aapko batana hai ki hame jo documents hain wo kitne din mein examine karne hain and we can reject okay our options are not exceeding 5 business days from the date of receipt of the documents not exceeding 7 business days from the date of receipt of the documents not exceeding 5 business days after the date of receipt of the documents not exceeding 7 business days after the date of the receipt of the documents so let's see what is the right answer and the right answer is c that is not exceeding Five business days after the date of the receipt of the document. So friends, this date से हमने document को receive किया है. उस date से हमारे पास five business days होते हैं. Within five business days, we have to examine the document and decide whether we have to accept or reject the document. Let's see next question. Question number twelve. Dash risk is the risk that a default by one financial institution will create a ripple effect. that leads to defaults by other financial institutions and threatens the stability of the financial system so our options are systemic risk financial risk market risk default risk let's see what is the right answer and the right answer is a that is systemic risk so friends systemic risk jo hai wo aisa risk hai jisme agar koi ek financial institution mein default hota hai that will affect the other financial institution let's see next question question number 13 for meeting day to day receipt and expenditure mismatch rbi provides dash to government 
ट्रेजरी बिल्स वेज एंड मीन एडवांसिस डेटेड सिक्योरिटीज नन ऑफ द अब लेट सी वट इज द राइट आंसर एंड द राइट आंसर इज बी दैट इज वेज एंड मीन्स एडवांसिस तो जो आर बी आई है वो गवर्नमेंट को वेज एंड मीन्स एडवांसिस देता है जिससे जो गवर्नमेंट है वो अपने डे टू डे रिसिप्ट और एक्सपेंडिचर्स को पूरा कर सके लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ए ग्रांटेड ए गारंटेड पावर ऑफ अटॉर्नी टू बी फॉर ऑपरेटिंग अकाउंट ऑफ ए यू रिसीव इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट डेथ ऑफ ए एंड साइमिल्टेनियसली ए चेक साइन बाय बी ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ ए इज प्रेजेंटेड फॉर पेमेंट वट शुड द बैंक डू अब ऑप्शन आर चेक विल नॉट बी पेड चेक विल बी पेड चेक विल बी पेड इफ प्रायर टू द डेथ ऑफ ए चेक विल बी पेड इफ कंसेंटेड बाय द लीगल आयर्स ऑफ ए सो लेट सी वट इज द राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर इज चेक विल नॉट बी पेड क्योंकि फ्रेंड्स जो ए है उसने पावर ऑफ अटर्नी दी है बी को और एज यू हैव रिसीव द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट ए इज डाइड तो अगर ए की अगर डेथ हो जाती है सो वट विल हैपन दैट पावर ऑफ अटर्नी विल बिकम नल एंड वाइड एट दैट टाइम पावर ऑफ अटर्नी इज नल एंड वाइड इसीलिए जो है वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट खत्म हो चुका है सो बी जो भी चेक बी ने इशू किए दैट बैंक विल नॉट पे सो लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 15. Narrow banking is recommended by which committee? Our options are Ranga Rajan Committee, Tarapur Committee, Narsimhan Committee, Goi Poria Committee. So let's see what is the right answer. And the right answer is B. That is Tarapur Committee. So narrow narrow banking का जो concept है friends, that is given by the Tarapur Committee. So let's see what is narrow banking. So the Tarapur Committee has had recommended that to bring down the NPAs. the incremental sources of the bank should be restricted only to investment in government security one second thus tarapur committee is best known for giving the concept of narrow banking as a solution to the problem of npa non performing asset so this is the narrow banking concept which is given by tarapur committee let's see our next question question number 16 The Reserve Bank of India is to introduce positive pay system from January first, two thousand twenty-one, for check transactions above rupees dash. So, friends, this is already implemented. So, this topic we have already discussed in our previous video. Also, you can go to that video. Uh, we will provide the link in the i button, so you can watch that video. So, here you have to tell that how many amounts of over the transaction are, which has positive pay system introduced. Kya gaya? Our options are. Ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, one lakh. Let's see what is the right answer. And the right answer is third C. That is rupees fifty thousand. So fifty thousand से ऊपर के जो check होंगे, उनमें हम positive pay system के through information advance में ले सकते हैं. Okay. Let's see next question. Question number seventeen. Insurance regulator IRDAI formed a working group to revisit norms on trade credit insurance. Where is the headquarter of IRDI situated? So IRDI, which is friends, you will know. This is the regulator of insurance industry. So where is the headquarter of IRDI? Our options are Pune, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad. Let's see what is the right answer. And the correct answer is D. That is Hyderabad. So the headquarter of IRDI is in Hyderabad. Let's see next question. Question number eighteen. What Is the most widely used tools of monetary policy. Our options are issuing of notes, open market operations, discount rate. None of these. So friends, यहाँ पे आपको बताना है कि monetary policy का सबसे ज़्यादा use होने वाला कौन सा tool है जो RBI use करती है. Let's see what is the right answer. And the right answer is B. That is open market operation. तो फ्रेंड्स ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशन इन्वॉल्व द बाइंग एंड सेलिंग ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज तो ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशन में जो है आरबीआई वो गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज को बाय करती है एंड सेल करती है एंड ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशंस आर फ्लेक्सिबल एंड दस द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज्ड टूल ऑफ द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी सो लेट सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन सो अब क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन इज वेन आर बी सम ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशन ट्रांजेक्शन It wishes to regulate which of the following. So, is se ha, jo RBI hai, open market se kya regulate karna chahti hai? Our options are inflation, supply of money, money in the economy, borrowing power of the commercial banks, and our D options A and B. So, 
you have to give right answer of this question so friends here i would like to say one thing that rbi rbi issues many circulars day to day so in the bank promotion exam we have seen that many questions are asked from the rbi circular direct from the rbi circulars questions are asked in the promotion exams because banks are there to follow all the instructions of the rbi so you should go through the latest circulars and main circulars which are also implemented in the banks so that that circulars will help you in scoring minimum 5 to 6 marks in the exam so you should go through those and we will be coming in the uh, we will be come we will we'll come with mcqs on latest rbi circular which will help you in your coming bank promotion exam so let's see what is the right answer of this question and the right answer is d that is a and b inflation and supply of money in the economy so these two things are there that rbi controls or regulates so when the central bank wants to infuse liquidity into the monetary system it will buy government securities in the open market okay this this way it provides commercial banks with liquidity in contrast when it sells security it curbs the liquidity to so, jab bhi rbi securities ko sell karega usse liquidity kam ho jayegi thus the central bank indirectly controls the money supply and influences short term interest rates okay let's see next question question number 20 and this is the last question of the day when the cash reserve ratio is increased by the rbi it will what will happen if crr is increased increase the supply of the money in the economy decrease the supply of the money in the economy no impact on the supply of money in the economy initially increase the supply but later on decrease automatically let's see what is the right answer and the right answer is b that is decrease the supply of money in the economy so agar hum crr agar rbi jo hai wo crr ko increase karta hai usse jo supply hai money ki economy wo kam ho jayegi as you know uh, in this uh, in last year 2020 RBI decrease the CRR rate to three percent. So why RBI decrease? Because RBI wants to increase the supply. So RBI को supply increase करनी थी money की economy में. So they decrease the CRR rate. So in the opposite, we have this question that increase करने से CRR what will happen? That is decrease the supply of money. So here we can see when RBI increases the CRR, fewer funds. are available with the banks as they have to keep larger portion of their cash in hand with rbi thus hike in crr leads to an increase of interest rates on loans provided by the banks reduction in crr sucks money out of the system causing a decrease in money supply so friends this is a set of 20 questions and these are the memory recall questions and these questions are already asked in the previous bank promotion exam and they are also having a lot of probability to come in the coming bank promotion exam so thank you friends thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends who are preparing for bank promotion exam and subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed and also go through our playlist where we have discussed more than 500 questions so thank you friends have a nice day